this sura uh, it talks about you know was sama i wa tariq so here talking about sura tariq was sama i wa tariq and the night comer by the sky and wama adraka ma tariq and this tariq this is talking about uh, you know uh, the star then and what can make you know what is the night comer an najm saqib this is you know naj yeah a naj is star a saqib is you know piercing have you ever seen like bright light and you you want to close your eyes it's like a bright yeah like a sun you could say that yeah najm saqib is you know piercing light in kullu nafsim lamma alayha hafiz there is no soul but that has over it a protector so here you know allah subhanahu wa taala is explaining first we'll see five ayas and then i'll explain you ayas means the you know verses of the quran fal yanzuri insanu mimma qulq so let man observe la man yani people person observe from what he was created how we are created the creation has been like you know how we are created we should observe that man yani it's not like a man man though it it's like you know any person how we are created that is the thing talking about and then qulqa min ma in dafiq and he was created from a fluid which ejected even if some of the things if you don't understand that's fine just listen to it you will get it later okay so here we are trying to focus this sura surah at tariq and tariq was samai wa tariq wa ma adraka ma tariq by the sky and the night comer and what can make you know what is the night comer it is a piercing star our attention is being drawn against in another sign that reflects observe learn something you know there is no soul but that has a uh, protector or a protector meaning every human being is under yani allah knows about what they are so let a man observe from what he was created we are created from a water he was created from a fluid ejected emerging from the backbone and the ribs you don't have to go into the detail right now you will understand with the time qulqal qulqa min ma in dafiq is you know he was created from a fluid ejected yakhruju yakhruju is from kharaja what it comes out min baini sulbi wa taraib and here sulb you know emerging from between the backbone and the ribs that water comes from the backbone and the ribs yes Hmm. Okay. Inna hu ala rajihi la qadir. So here, indeed, Allah to return him to life is able. Yawma tubla tubla sarair. The day when secrets will be put on trial. Do we have secrets? We do all have secrets. We don't want to share with anyone. not even our closest friend not with our parents so allah knows about it the day when secrets will be put on the trial they will not be secret because allah already knows yeah but even when you just start thinking yeah but uh, sweetheart when we are not saying to anyone it's not like that yeah but sweetheart when we are not saying to anyone in this world and people misunderstand that even though they are elder people they think oh it's a secret but what you said is right Allah knows about it. Fama lahu min quwwatin wala nasir. Then man will have no power or any helper. Was sama izat raj. What rhetoric? Yes, by the sky which returns. In the end I'll give you time, okay? Wal ardi izat sad. and by the earth which cracks open when this going to happen at the time of day of judgment the earth will open cleft open okay innahu laqawlun fasl 
indeed the quran is decisive statement how we know a decisive statement because allah says in nahu here the pronoun has been used and allah is talking about la qawlun la min surely qawl which qawl here talking about fasl is decisive god talking about quran wa ma huwa bil hazl and it is not amusement okay this is talking about quran okay innahum yakiduna kaida indeed they are planning a plan any people plan so many bad things let them plan wa akidu qaida a plan but i am planning a plan who is saying that allah is saying i am also planning people are planning i am also planning fal fa muhallil kafirina amhilhum ruwaida we keep this name also ruwaida so uh, allow time for the disbelievers leave them while it's a very short surah only 17 ayahs and not much though so let's uh, try to go deeper into it and understand much better manner so we were on ayah number 5 so let a person observe from what he was created he was created from a fluid ejected ayah number 7 emerging from have a seat what you are waiting for sweetheart just finish your what and sit there he was created from fluid ejected emerging from between the backbone and the rib ayah number 8 indeed allah to return him to life is able yawma tubla sarair the day when secrets will be put in the trial you know the secrets will be examined they will be checked they will be inspected what are these secrets they are hidden intention they will be observed on the day of judgment why because actions are a results of intention intentions are hidden innamal amalu bin niyat remember whatever our intention is if our intention is bad that's how we are given if our intention is good that's how we are given so make your intention good don't make your intention bad so here which is why if the intention is good the action is good if the intention is corrupt the action is also corrupt so on the day of judgment the outward aspect of deeds alone will not be examined the hidden state the intention will be examined and in a well known in uh, narration we learn uh, that a first uh, people to be judged on the day of judgment will be who they will be individual who perform good great deeds good deeds martyrs yani shaheed the reciters of the quran and each will say that oh lord i did so and so so and so allah says it will be said you are lying you are a liar you did so that you will be called a martyr because you want that status martyr shaheed or you did it so you will be called a you know scholar or reciter or a hafiza you did it so you call it like a you everyone feels oh they are so good right we acknowledge it and we yeah not for allah so you would be called a generous person you will call the reciter you will call the such a person so then such a person will be dragged and into hell fire these are all great actions so remember it's not enough for us to just do good deed great things but strength and ability to do good also ask him for ikhlas means sincerity when you strive for the worship allah subhanahu wa taala keep checking examining the states of the heart keep asking yourself i am doing this for the sake of allah if you are just doing for the sake of allah allah will you know uh, give you uh, that reward but the intention should be good and ayah number 10 then the man will have no power or any helper by the sky which returns rain and by the earth which cracks open indeed quran is a decisive statement and it is not amusement this is not for entertainment indeed they are planning a plan people but i am planning a plan who oh allah so allow me for the disbelievers leave them a while it's just a matter of few days very soon they will see the truth that they rejected so allah is clearly mentioning okay whatever you want to plan bad let let it be you plan bad but i am the one who will be planning the whose planning will be best allah's planning will be best of the best planning and allah is one who is saying that 
so we are no one to uh, you know say against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah is the one who will be you know is the best planner so this is the surah to tarikh which we did today it is revealed in makkah and the virtue of this surah to tarikh you know uh, the people are putting to the trial and was it not sufficient for you to so you know uh, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say you know muaz there was a sahaba that uh, why you recite such a big surahs you can recite smaller surahs like surah to tarikh or surah to shams or surah to duha because you know when he goes outskirts and he used to recite surah al baqara or nisa people used to get tired so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said why don't you recite shorter surahs and that's how we get the hadith was samai wa wa tariq by the heaven and the tariq wa ma adraka ma tariq najm us saqib and you know this star is very big and shining star many people they call it this tariq they they keep this name because it's a shining star big star yes the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the question or did the shaykh ask the question this uh, surah regarding this uh, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is being informed through angel Jibril through revelation okay Allah sent the revelation on Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and sent this surah okay and he, Allah is informing us like uh, right from the beginning and okay about the sahaba ikram the Muaz was a sahaba companion he went to outskirts to teach people okay he was given that assignment whenever he was going outskirts and teaching the sahaba like other people he was reciting bigger surah and people complained to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know there was a person called maaz and he is reciting very big surahs and we get tired do you know surah al baqara how long it is two and a half like you know it is in um, two and a half juz people get tired isn't it it's not a easy thing though it's a longest surah so what prophet is saying recite shortest surah like a surah to tari it's just 17 ayas isn't it it's easy though and here talking about you know how the things happen with the swearing by the existence of the humanity surrounded by organized system of allah allah swears by the heaven what he has placed in it and radiant stars was samai wa tariq and then allah says wama adraka ma tariq and what is what will make you know what tariq is and he explained it najm us saqib saqib you know here the star has been named tariq because it is only seen at night and it is hidden during the day time okay in the night time only you can see this star day time you can't see the star okay this is the one of the view and has been mentioned that tarikh this means that he comes to them unexpectedly at night all of a sudden it comes this star okay and also ibn abbas says it's very illuminating very shining okay have you noticed something shiny like you know for example you guys are, some of the girls you are wearing shiny scarves it's obvious right you can see that okay the same way shining star can you notice it yes and here uh, in kullu nafsin lamma alayha hafiz i'll give you time to recite there is no human being put ha but has a protector over him meaning every soul has a guardian over it from allah the protects it from calamities and allah says in surah number 13 ayah number 11 lahu muaqqabatun من بين يديه ومن خلفه يحفظونه من امر الله for him there are angels in succession before and behind him they guard him by the command of allah so how man is created is a proof of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ability to return to him fal yanzur la insanu mimma qali let a person see from what he is created this is you know talking about man's weakness how we are created from just a water and this is mentioned in surah number 30 ayah number 27 girls over here i'm going to ask you the quiz then wa huwa allazi yabda'u qalqa thumma yu'iduhu wa huwa ahwanu 
uh, are like it is who originates the creation who is creating us okay we are in the mother's womb we are coming out from mother's womb who is doing that allah yes that's what you was about to say yes okay and repeat it and this is and uh, allah is creating with the water and how it comes you know in this world and spend the time and then allah talks about you know innahu ala raj'i qadir he is able to bring from him back to life this means that he is able to return the person that created from fluid and you know how we become strong on the day of judgment a person will have no power or assistance you know yawma tumla sarair the day when all secrets will be examined meaning the day of judgment the secrets will be tested this means that they will be exposed and made manifest clear the secret will be made open and that which is concealed will be known and fama lahu min quwwatin wala nasib and then he will have no meaning man on the day of judgment any power meaning within himself meaning from other than himself and in the following ayah what we learn yeah like you know swearing to the truthfulness of the quran and the failure of those who oppose it was samai zatil raj means by the sky having rain clouds you know before rain do you feel that clouds in the rain rain clouds yes and again and again and a raj means rain here a raj means rain yes yes go ahead and this also been narrated from that it means cloud that contains rain was samai zat e raj by the sky having rain clouds which gives rain again and again this means that it rains then it rains again it rains again it returns the sustenance of the servants creatures every year where it's not for this they would be destroyed and uh, this was uh, the sura which talks about you know how a person plans but allah is the best planner wa aqidu qaidan allah says innahum yaqiduna qaida wa aqidu qaida allah says you are planning but i am the best planner and allah gives respite to the disbelievers meaning wait for them and do not be in the haste concerning them so this was surah at-tarikh and anybody wants to volunteer one after another i will give you time